Ladies and gentlemen, this is Martin Beans Ward here, and welcome to the first episode of Cooking with Beans. I'm going to cook an old, an old dish here by that I learnt up in Brazil, to tell um, I didn't learn it, I saw it in an old cookbook from Brazil, down the man. And I saw it, I tasted it when I was over there. So today we're going to do a little bit of uh, chicken, chilled chicken, and a little bit of white sauce. Oh, lovely old sauce, I the best sauce in the world, the whole, the whole world knows that. And we're going to do that then with a bit of Brazilian style fried rice, and I'm with a, a, a Brazilian dessert as well, called Bolinha, Bol, 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 of course I fucked on top of it, Bolinha da Chuva. Anyway, keep an eye out. So first up, what you want to be doing is, you need to be going along and rob yourself a good pan like this. I robbed this one now out of Super Value, to tell the truth, and it's a good old pan. It's worth about 20 euro, and I'll be using this today. Next up, boys and girls, you need a clean old plate, right? Search the search for presses and get the cleanest plate that you have. Next in, what you have to keep an eye out for, sometimes the food might be a little bit lively, as I'm still alive. So get yourself a good old, good old knife like that there now. Good old knife. And you'll be done. See them there, boys, they're, they're garlic cloves, that's what they are, watch. Oh, garlic cloves, right? What you want to do there with, the, with that, you want to stab them to death. I'll go back to that in a minute, but that essentially is what you want to do, is you want to make sure that they're dead and they don't move around the plate. Um, because that, that they're, they're well known for it. So there we are now, boys and girls. Master 9 to tell the truth. In. Now, I don't know if what your experience with onions are, but from my experience anyway, they're full of attitude. So you want to cut them up, dice them up, boys, dice them up, so it's unrecognisable. Tell the truth. There you go, leave it like that there now, that's the final of an onion. After you put the roll down with the knife, wash the cursor fork on top of it anyway. Lumpfish skin stuck to it. And normally you'd use a chopping board, but in this pox the house I can't have anything left down anyway, tell the truth. It's gone missing for the last three years, that's the truth. A plate will do you boys, and now dirty knife like this. Look at onions, every my face is figured, to tell the truth. I'm about to get the big smell of there, a load of all onion juice into my eye. And I can be... You can really see it to tell the truth, and you see the, the tears the snots run on my face at the moment. These are the risks you take for working in the kitchen, boys. These are the risks you take for cooking good food, tell the truth. See these old chestnut mushrooms, tell the truth. They look like hankers, that's what they call chestnuts. You want to chop them up like that. You got, a, you got the chicken, boys, you got the chicken, so what you want to do there, get a bit of salt. After you chop it up, chop it up to bits. I love chopping up, tell the truth. And you put a bit of salt in it like that. And then boys, you got your small bit of the chopped up garlic, the one that you mass and a few minutes ago. You throw it into the old pan like that. Now, the trick with garlic, boys, is you want it to be gold. You don't want it to be brown as a berry at all. And there with the old bit of oil, watch that. Oh my god, I'll eat that in its own, that's a joke. This is this pine turn now, because I ain't going to own a bit of chicken. I like a bit of paprika. I do fuck the old paprika in top of there, that's a That's what I do. Like that, watch. Put the old colour up in it, boys. And you fuck the old chicken on top of it like that. Anyway at all, boys, anyway. As long as you go into the old pan, the other man. And you let the old juices flow. So, boys, when you ask the old chicken, she's nearly cooked here now, what? What you want to do is, you want to transfer it over to another plate. This here, boys, this is the best bit of stock that you can get in the world. The whole world. So then you fuck your old mushrooms. And the old onions on top of it, so all chopped to bits like that. Fork it in there, get the old flavour mix up a little bit. Guys, all the old onions and mushrooms are cooking, so I go over here for the chicken, a bit more paprika, the blessed mark. Oh yeah. The onions are in there, a small bit of garlic paste, you see that there? Looks like old pigeon shite, to tell the truth. And then you go over here, I see old chicken, see, you've left it there now, a bit of paprika's inside. And then we'll go back for in a second. I'll fuck the old chicken on top of there, boys, that's the truth. In there, fuck it in there. No hard. Mix it up a small bit of heat. God bless the mark, look at this, which I've done and i got tonight. Guys, I made a bit of a, I bought a chicken yesterday and I kept the bones and I turned it into an old stock today. So here we go, we're going to put on the old stock. I have no video of the making the stock. What kind of food do you think I am? And also, fuck in one of these boys here as well, see them? Fuck them in there, watch. And that's the only cup any Man United supporter will see for the next 10 years. God bless the mark. Up down at Liverpool, you never walk alone. 
So boys, what you want to do here now is mix it all up like that. It looks like it looks like shite now to be honest with you. It looks like something you throw up now after after a Friday night drinking, to tell the truth. But that'll settle that will that'll reduce down though. To, to reduce, reduce, condense. Reduce down, it'll reduce down the boys, right? You leave that there, simmer it away for about fifteen minutes. You know, Brazilian rice, you need to have a bit of oil in it first. Heat it up there, good and hot. Fuck the last bit of your garlic into it. Small bean golden, golden brown texture like rice. I don't know what up all that. Then you get your basrati rice. You put that in there as well, and you let it kind of get crispy at the bottom there, boys. Can't believe I tell you this, boys. It's a big secret. And you mix it up. Flavour gone through, boys. Then you got your glass of gobby hooker. Watch. Pure toxic water to the truth. You fuck it in there like that. Make sure she's covered, boys. And you boil her away. There now, boys. She's reduced down. So she is. So you get your bit of cream. Fuck a bit of cream into it. No one's looking. Throw the whole lot into it. Don't regard. Look at that. A load of cream. Watch that now. And you mix that motherfucker up there and all like that. Oh boys, I think I use a bit too much cream to the throat. There you go boys, the best food in the world. And boys, for the old dessert, you want two cups of flour, a bit of bacon soda, what else is fucking to it? I'll throw a little bit of salt as well into it, some flour, obviously you can see the flour in front of you, you can't be that innocent. And then you get a small bit of buttermilk like this, a half cup of buttermilk. I'm not even using a cup, I'm dangerous. It should be that thick. The old uh, bullying of the shovers, boys, to like little donut jokes. So they're done anyway. You get that out, fuck them over here, drip dry the fucker. When you finish with that, when the oil is dripped off it, you'll lob it in here, that's sugar and cinnamon. And that's what you do, you mix it up. And you roll these bad boys into it, oh, they're still warm. And that's it. Bolinia the shoulder.